Y Mentalism, and welcome to Blood Bowl 3. So, Blood Bowl 3, for those of you who don't know, is basically what if you took American football slash rugby and put it in the Warhammer Fantasy universe with teams that range from like Wood Elves, who are good at really throwing the ball, catching the ball, running around with the ball, to teams like Black Orcs, who are really good at well, not really anything to do with the ball, but really good at beating up the other team and then just like walking the ball to the end of the pitch. So it plays out kind of with a massive variety of different styles, which I really like. And I played quite a bit of Blood Bowl 1, a little bit of Blood Bowl 2, and Blood Bowl 3 is now due out February 2022. So quite a whale away. A whale away? Apparently a whale away. It's a while away. However, there is an open beta starting today, which is the 3rd of June as of recording this. So if you do want to get involved in the open beta, you can just... I'll try and put a link down below in the description somewhere. Uh, but the open beta has three teams. The Elven Union, the Black Orcs, and the Imperial Nobility, which is pretty new. Like, the Elven Union is just, like, all the different Elf factions kind of melded together. Uh, Black Orcs are like, hey, what if you took Orcs and then just went over the top with how tough they are? They're, they're tough. And the Imperial Nobility is like, well, yes, we are the Imperial. <laughs> Uh, we're going to play as the Black Orcs because I did ask the Discord what they would like. And they were like, hey, yeah, play as the Orcs. So I can go, right, we're the Orcs. We're going to come over there. And I don't know why all my Orcs sound like they're from London, but that's how they are. Uh, and I have recruited a team. Uh, so there is a load of customization in Blood Bowl 3. However, it's not in the beta because obviously really, really early days and kind of cosmetic finishes are generally the lastish thing you do on a game. Uh, so there is a lot of customization we can do. We can even customize, like, individual players. Or at least we could do if this was the final game. Like, um, where's our customization button? Here we go. There's only one choice. But we would be able to customize. Like, look at the, look at the graphics on that. It looks a lot better. I think this is a new engine as well. Anyway, uh, we're going to go back and we're going to start a game. Now, you might note that all the players are named. They're named after people on the Patreon who support the channel. I do a Patreon, it supports the channel, and there's a name list, and people at the appropriate tiers get put into a name list, and then I randomize, and we end up with a troll called John Roberts, or a bunch of orcs, Kevin, Nave, Adam, mmm, Kvalin, 40 packs, and then four goblins, Tyrant, Luke, Mekra, and Jonathan Richard Harris. You can only have 11 players on the pitch at any one point. Extras mean that, hey, you've got some to sub on if someone gets horrifically murdered by, well, an orc. So, I felt... So this is just kind of like a limited game. There's only so much we can afford. I was like, you know what? Let's just fill the roster of people on the pitch. We don't really care about the subs. So we can go back. We're going to go play against AI. And we'll be the Blackhawks versus... And we'll pick Imperial Nobility. We could play against uh, the Elves. They're a lot squishier, a lot more dancey. I actually tend to play Wood Elves in Blood Bowl. Which, yeah, super squishy. But we're going to play the Imperial Nobility because that kind of an all-rounder. And it feels to me like a good matchup. Um, yeah, and we'll play the one that's like a relatively similar team value. Good evening from Cabal Vision HD. So, uh, again, a lot of this is really kind of early days, early access. Um, there's meant to be a lot more voice lines. Like here, you'll notice there's no voice lines. I suspect this is where there's going to be more like customization voice lines, stuff about the team, the team makeup, the like relative play of the teams and how they've been doing recently or whatever. But there's nothing being said at the moment, which I think is probably where it's going to be added. Also, of course, that causes a lot. I really do like the sort of little advertisements and so on. I really add a lot to the game. Hello, hello. Yeah, you can definitely tell this is where like voiceover is meant to be. Also, uh, AI is definitely not finished. I get the suspicion like the AI is in place, but there's no like tweaking being done or anything yet. Okay, perfect conditions. Weather. And we get some money. We're going to spend the money on assistant coaches. And then, hello, goblin referee. I like this little scene. It's really well done. All right. So we're going to position our... Orcs. Um, for some reason, it's put all of our goblins on the front. Oh, we're playing with a timer. You know what? I'm actually going to go back real quick and I'm going to turn off the timer so I can talk about things like a little bit more generally.
Good evening from Cabal Vision HD. Let's do that again. I actually forgot to turn off the timer. By default, there is a pretty strict timer, and I want to be able to just take our time and just talk about stuff as we do it. So, uh, restart. No timer now. Perfect condition. And we will just grab some assistant coaches. Sure. Do your little coin flip. Hello, ref. Oh, uh, we get to pick. Uh, we will kick the ball. We want them to have the ball so we can beat the crap out of them. And for some reason, all of our goblins are on the front line. Let's change that. So we're going to just move the goblins back for now. I don't know what is going on. With goblins, why are they there? Uh, right. Let's. Why is the troll at the back? Troll, dead center at front. Fox, either side. Let's get Kevin Honker up as well. Let's get Adam Jeffrey up. And then on the flank, let's get mm, Kelica and Valen as well. And these gobbos here. I mean, why don't we actually just put our orcs over just a little bit? Yeah, it looks good to me. So, we got a very strong front line. I'm going real strong on this front line. We might want to just maybe move you over to here. Mm. Gives a little bit more flexibility, I guess. And then we'll put Gobbo there. Gobbo there. The idea about Gobbo's being this close means that, like, no one can really... I guess... Yeah, if we move one back, we'll have tackle zones all around. Because everyone has, like, a one unit around them tackle zone. So, yeah, we should have tackles anywhere. No one can dodge through this. Right. That seems good to me. Very, very forwards and offensive. Basically orcs. The other choice would be... Moving our gobbos over one. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's put the gobbos over one. Troll in the middle. Uh, by the way, trolls are very stupid. So, John Roberts is our very stupid troll. Means every time you try and use it on a 4+, plus, it acts normally. Anything else, it does not. It just does nothing. If you put an orc next to it, or someone next to it at the beginning of its go, that changes to only being like only on a one to not do anything. Because like the orc is like, hey, go over there. Also, my orc voice is just going to be East London for the rest of the thing, but that's fine. Uh, let's call this good. Um, that is good. Could leave a two no, that's safe. Okay. Uh, we kick. Let's kick to... A little bit risky, but let's kick to here. Mm, here. Yeah. Oh. Brilliant coaching. For each manager, D6 is added to the, his number of assistant coaches. The manager with the highest result gains a team reroll. But we use the during this drive are lost. Ooh, team rerolls are great. I love rerolls. Draw, win it. What? Here we go. Four plus two. They've picked up the ball. I suppose okay. I should say something memorable or funny. Here. Well, they picked up the ball, but what I was looking at is down here, because the dice slot is nice. I like the dice roll. Uh, they get a six plus zero. We get a four plus two. Draw. So I guess no one gets the team reroll. Uh, right, they're attacking us. Now, the AI is very early. Very early. Um, so 
Yeah, it's done an attack versus us when we have the advantage, i.e. like they roll two dice and we pick. And because of that, we can pick attacker down. Because they attack the troll. I don't know why they would do that. But now it's our turn, because that's how turnover works. So, yeah, now this guy's a little bit in the back. I've got to be a bit careful here. We get two against you. I think we can maybe up that to a three if we're, like, careful here. So let's attack with you. Those teeth, Jim. Defender we'll stumbles, and we'll push the, the defender time. that way. Bam! Oh, nice punch. And they're just stunned. Anytime it's an eight or more, it's something interesting, but... That's just a stun. Uh, right. Now you, we get three dice versus because we're getting assisted and we got a whole bunch of strength. So, yes. Hi. I would like oh, to hit you. Too easy. Uh, attacker down. No. Defender stumbles. Push. Oh, that's a bit lame. Okay. Well, we'll have you stumble. You're fine. Unfortunately, that's all the punching we get to do this turn. Like... The idea behind us is we just wreck their team to the point that they can't pick up the ball and then we walk it over the thing. But like, that's the only two who are on the front line. At this point. Um, however, we can do one blitz per turn and a blitz is basically where you're like, I will move and punch. Very special. Uh, this is the bodyguard, noble blitzer, linesman, linesman, linesman. Oh, thrower, linesman. Um... I don't want to move the goblin in because that's just asking for being hurt. I think we will move up here and we'll hurt this thrower. They've got the advantage, but there is no sure thing in blood though. And then we will. We could follow. I want to stay put. I don't want to get two against player. one. Off times a ten. Oh, it's a ten. Stunned. Oh, that's an armor roll. Oh, the armor's nine plus. All right. So the first roll is the armor roll, which they rolled a 10 and their armor's a nine plus. So yeah, they fail. And injury roll was a seven, so they're fine. Okay. Uh, right. We could move up here, which I think we'll do because we want them to be in a position to get attacked next turn. The goblin is a little bit like worried here, but whatever. Move the next goblin up. I'm going to move a goblin up to here. It's making kind of a lot of room for us. Move you up. So be careful not to like leave a gap that they can exploit. To me, looks fine. I don't want to move these goblins. They're kind of doing their job, kind of preventing enemy from moving. And goblins aren't particularly strong. Like, their strength is two versus the black orcs. Or, by the way, the difference between orcs and black orcs is that black orcs wear some really good armor. Like, our armor value is 10 plus. Even our goblins is 8 plus. Um, and I think that is end of turn. All right, indeed. Come here. Come here, let me know any caps off. Just thinking about it. Oh, it's thinking. Oh, standing up. Yeah, standing up is like, you don't need to roll. It just takes three movement value. It's a basic thing. Basically, you do at the start of a turn because there's no risk of failure, generally. And because there's no risk of failure, there's no risk of turnover. Because if you fail an action, generally that results in turnover and your turn instantly ends. Like, you might not have moved half your team if you do something risky. So, generally, you want to, like, preload your turn with lots of simple actions that you know, know is going to be good. Is the assist going to be <laughs> enough to come out on top? Oh! Dude, KO'd an orc! Risky action, Bob. What? I'm going to take a both down result here. In these conditions, it's just crazy! Both down as well. My player is away with the fairies. And the their guy got KO'd. Okay, Murdered so like, beasts. we just got, 
We just got a KO each. Wow. Thanks for that. Who got, like, KO'd? How do I scroll this dice log? It doesn't seem to want to scroll. Okay. Oh! They used a team reroll. Both down. KO'd. Okay, on our team. Both underscore wrestle underscore down. Oh, right. So, like, they used an ability there. Uh, Adam Jaffrey, I think, was the one. Naver Sponges. Oh, it's Naver Sponges got KO'd. Yeah, Naver Sponges is out. Damn, okay. Ooh, different cameras. Okay. What's V do? Right. right, uh, we do need to keep pushing them. Our troll is here with an assist. But we're going to do the basic stand up first. Stand up, move in. Stand up. Now it's three. A snotling baked in a pie stands more chance than this poor kid. Actually, Bam! Where's the nearest pie nah, shop? Nah, they're fine. Um... Now, we can move, like, through these areas, but you'll see that we get, like, chances of dodging and stuff. Mm. So what I'm thinking here is that we might end up blitzing someone. Why is that not working? I'm having trouble sometimes with the UI. There we go. For some reason I had to click like a million times there. Um, can we go to here? There we go. then this player, who is a linesman, is out on the edge. Um, we want to hit this guy, so... Let's move our goblin in. That'll give us an assist. That we beat about you. I don't take both down. I need the brawler reroll. Uh, the same ugh. time. Don't like. We'll take a push. I'm actually going to push you... That way. And we will we follow up? I think we follow up. Ah, he's on him now. Like a halfling on a hot dinner. We have a risk over here. There's gaps that they can run through. We'll have to cover them. Get that goblin over here. By the way, those exclamation mark thingies are like you can push it to like roll like a, if you roll a D6 and you go a one, then you slip when you go here. Like you can move a little bit extra by going for like a, a risky dash, I guess you call it. Um, this dude, I guess we try and, like, push our luck, move up a little bit here, threaten them. This dude is the one I'm thinking, like, we blitz on. Come on, guys. And we Together. take Defender Stumbles. Oh, nice punch. And that's fine. Your armor should be able to prevent that, right? And then we can just move and follow because we're blitzing. We can move as well. Uh, that is all good. Okay. Uh, oh, got this guy here. I'm still kind of getting used to Blood Bowl again after quite a while off. I really loved the campaign in the first Blood Bowl. I was never really a fan of, like, multiplayer stuff for it. But... The campaign in Blood Bowl 1 was a lot of fun. Blood Bowl 2 didn't really have a campaign at launch, I recall, or it's not the same as Blood Bowl 1 did. Action. Oh, really? Attack it. They're just attacking me when I have the advantage and I attack it down in the very first action. Oh. That's turnover. And that dude's still standing there. They haven't moved him. The air is definitely ropey in this 
pre-release like it is a year before launch the the ai is here that's all i can say for it right i'm gonna give you a punch in who's next uh well i guess this guy is next Oh, um, you know what? We'll keep the result. I've seen much. So the troll is too stupid. I should have noted that. That was going to be 50-50. There's no one next to the troll to give him a direction. Um. Yeah, we'll take this. Likes to be well assisted. We'll go for push, and we'll push you to They're there. Still standing. Poor goblin is in a real problem there. Like. Eek. What's the red around it mean? That they have advantage, maybe? I don't know. I don't quite understand that. It's an odd way to do it. I just make the dice red, just like they have them when they pop up in front of you. Um, I guess we also technically have this orc here who can just pop around to there. Now we're getting a really nice surround on. These guys are not going to have a good day. There's only one word to say about this bomb. Not okay. a word, Jim. Okay, I guess we'll go for it. Okay, I'm immune to pressure. <laughs> Nine. What about here? That'd be two. Two. One. We'll take the two here. I should probably say something uh, meaningful for our roll. cabal we'll take a push. vision viewers. Nothing happens. Oh, it's a very uneventful turn of Black. nothing really happening when we try and do that. Gone yet? Why are you not showing me the odds? Why are you not showing me odds? I haven't gone. Like I can see you haven't gone. There we go. Definitely, the UI's a bit ropey at the moment. Oh dear. I hope that player has Send it down. Them. There we go. Written. Oh, Players nice. Can barely speak. And they're fine. Let alone right. You should know. You've interviewed enough of them. Right, we're going to move our goblin up to mark the guy with the ball. It might try and throw the ball, which would be annoying, but, like, that's how it works. Uh, we'll move the goblin up to here. I don't want to be next to this guy because he might just beat us up. Our goblins are not strong, as I have mentioned. Um, maybe here, actually. Seriously, come on, there we go. The UI is definitely ropey in this. Um, and then we'll move this goblin up to... There. I mean, we could maybe risk it. Have we moved everyone else? Well, that goblin is just going to be in a world of hurt, but whatever. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Two dice rolls. If you were the ones, we go down. Uh, you know what? I will keep the result. Fine. Come on. Down. One foot in front of but the other. It's not that complicated, is it? The very first one as well. Of course it was. We do have two re-rolls we can use for our team. stand-ups. This guy's running for it. Yeah, they might try and throw the ball here. All right, mate, come on. I've doing? seen some prep oh, he tried to get out of the way of the goblin. The best. Wait, who? No, it was this guy. This guy tried to run away from the goblin and we just tackled the... Oh! Nice! Okay. Uh, right, if we can get this guy down, we can use this guy. Oh, no, if we can get these uh, these two guys. If we can get these two guys down, we can use this guy to blitz that. So let's start with this. Oh, dear. I hope that Defender stumbles. Has written a and written. Players can barely speak. Fine. Now, let alone write. <laughs> you should know. You've interviewed enough. Uh, we're going to reroll. Got the advantage. Defender stumbles. No and we'll move you this way. Fine. And then we can blitz this guy. So let's get the goblins in position. And then we'll get two dice on this. Count those teeth, Defender stumbles. Pick up both of them off the ground follow up. A few seconds time. And, and where does the ball go? There it is. He's fine. 
And then, okay, that's going to be a turn, really. I don't want to risk moving one more. But we'll do this. There's only one word to say about this bar. We'll go for a push. A word, Doesn't do anything. Uh, we'll try using the troll. I mean, if we move the troll, but we can't move the troll without risking getting tripped. Yeah. This guy's unmarked, but the balls in them, you know, free. So let's try use the troll. You know what? Let's bring you over to here and we can use the troll properly. All right, John. That one's got fists bigger than hands. Defender down. Man. He's going to sleep and maybe we will see him on the pitch later. Okay. Um, this goblin. Yeah, that's disadvantage then. Okay, that's the disadvantage. I wish the dice were just red rather than chained in red. It looks different to how they have them when they pop up. You should always go for consistency. Uh, goblin, do you think you can pick the ball up? Two thirds of the time. Uh, okay. Let's see if you can score. The ball is in the player's hand. Yes! Yes! Well, there we go. That's how touchdown works. Here we go. 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 Who was that he scored? Oh, one of them is still knocked out. None of us are. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Hey, dice log. It was Luke. Luke was the one who scored. Nice. Well, I'm pretty sure we're just going to do the same setup again on the front line because it worked for us last time. Um... Oh, no, we are still down an orc. Yeah. Now let's take an orc off the front line. Okay. So yeah, we still have someone down, unfortunately. Knave sponges is still KO'd. Uh, and they have Yeah, uh, retainer. Quentin Lightning still KO'd. Which not great for us. We should be taking more than one for one, but whatever. I guess they are Imperial Nobility. They do have vaguely okay armor. Not as good as ours. Uh let's call it. Let's go. And we kick off. Uh, we'll kick off to yeah. Well, that was impressive. But the opponents still have time to get back in the match. Ooh, free bribe? That's great. We went foul. There goes the ball. Also, they Locked kick where they place the, the ball because the we kick it out of bounds. Of the game is about to change. And they attack right into a disadvantage roll. Attack it down. Bam. Turnover. Okay. <laughs> Let's try and get the ball off them. Uh, we will use our teammate roll. We've got two of them. Let's use one. Ah, oh, both down. Fine. Where's the nearest pie shot, Jim? Give the result. Sleep, then? So the ball is now behind oh, us, but they don't have it anymore. Oh, it's a blitz. You can't argue with that call, can you, Knock us back. Uh, no. I guess we'll take her both down. Turn over again. So, let's get some of our guys back up. The ball is right there. Like, we can only pick up about two sets of the time, though, with the goblins. So, I've got to be a bit cautious. Move you around there. Um, do this. The attacker has an assist. Push. Push to there. And we'll stay Push put. Back. The reason October. is, we've got a lot of space to play with now. If we do drop the ball, we might be okay. Um, this dude. 
They're gathering around. Uh, we'll go with player. Fender Down. Like round a sandwich. And we will stay put. Okay, their armor's fine. We can also totally foul that. Like have this guy just jump up and down on him. We got a bribe, so. Um, if I try to pick up the ball, 50-50 chance of picking it up. Eh, maybe not. We're going to move our Orc to there. Two blitz, and then... And I think we will try and pick up the ball. Oh, they don't, must don't have fail. glue on their yes. fingers. We could move to there, but that seems like it would just result in pain. So instead, I'm actually going to move to here. We'll move this goblin to here. Uh, no, to there. So we're backing up that orc. And then we'll move this goblin to here. And then this goblin to there. The idea being that like we can move you in from the back if we need to to support. Right. Let's do a foul. Um, worth a try. Oh. That looks pain injured. Argue the call. Use a bribe. Lovely. Let's check exactly what went on there. Uh, bribe 2 plus succeed. Seriously hurt. Oh, yeah. They failed their armor roll with an 11. They rolled a 12 for the uh, injury roll, so they're hurt. They are seriously hurt. Ooh, nice. Not not just dead, though, which is disappointing. Uh, foul on defender ID. Okay, so they didn't actually have a name come up in the log. Again, early access. Uh, right, let's, I guess, end the turn. That was a definite good use of a foul. Hi there. Oh, all all over the place. oh, that guy just I fell can't over. See them going much further we did tackle them. Like, well, not tackle, sorry. We did, like, what was it? Trip them. They tried to get out of a tackle zone. Uh, these guys are going to be annoying. Our uh, goblin is going to have to start moving up the side. But we're probably going to have to put, like, a wall of orcs around them. It shouldn't be too difficult, though. Let's think. Oh my god. The UI here. It wants to do a pass every time. Because I select, I think. Yeah, like it's trying to do a throw. Because I think it's every time you mouse over someone, it's like, oh, you want to pass to this person. And then you move the cursor off them and it's still thinking to throw the ball. It's so frustrating. Um, I probably want to move to here. Won't move too far. No point in trying to like do something weird like throw the ball. Move you up as well. Now the idea is just to have like people around them kind of block anyone coming at us. Who are you, my dude? Oops, square are you in? Wait. Oh, right. You're here. But you're bugged. Okay. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> that really threw me. I was like, wait, what's going on? Is the ref on pit? No. Um, the ref's a goblin, so he's obviously biased towards this. And he's wearing black and white. He's basically like a black hawk. Uh, let's... Move this orc up here. Let's use our troll here. Ah, uh, we won't. We'll keep the result. Did this guy leave his brain Another one. In the I get ones on this troll so much. John Roberts spends most of the match doing nothing. I don't know, like, why I'm so unlucky, but 
That is just the case. That will move you up. We'll move you to there. And that should basically have like a ring of people around our gobbo. We can hopefully get... Uh... Is that Luke again? Oh my god, it's Luke again. Damn. Dude is just way too good. Uh... Move you up. I mean, really hard for them to stop us, which, hey, is the idea. Um, if we were to blitz this guy, we'd have to rush a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Keep the result. Uh, you know what? We'll keep the result. I can't see a sign saying slippery surface at the edge of the I get edge. a lot of ones. Here you this go. Is going to be decisive. You blitz us, we get pushed back, but we don't go down. They zapped. Oh, they but they went too far. Still broken. Okay. Um, yeah, this pass there. What's the chance of us doing the pass? Doesn't actually say. Assume it's four plus. Um, we could just take this guy out. Let's get you to stand up. Technically, we could reach the end zone. There's a risk of us fumbling the ball. Let's do a blitz here. Goblin Unity blitz. Unity is strength. Really? We're going to use a team roll. Oh, uh, defender easy. down. Oh. We may see that player later. That's it's a KO. Good. Okay, now we just have to not roll like a one. Go, 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 go. Yes, Luke gets another one. That's a touchdown. So in the final part of the second half. Again. Luke doing the dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, so many of them are down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Austin Mark, you. Yeah. You right, Bob? Sorry, Jim. Seeing all that blood and death, oh, it just makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Mmm, blood and death. Uh, right. They've got kind of a symmetric thing going on right now, so I kind of want to make sure we're positioned to counter that. Uh, we'll make sure we're all on the line of scrimmage. I'm going to put our goblins in places that, like, don't have base contact. And I'm going to go really hard on the drive here because this is... Oh, it's actually the second half. Huh. Can I, like, put a save in here? No. Well, I guess I'm going to have to play through. The winning squad have built up quite the lead. They're kicking is to it us. too late for the other side Change to weather, counter? perfect conditions. Uh, I haven't actually put anyone next to the ball. I didn't really care. This is all about beating the crap out of them. Uh, picking up the wall is actually dangerous for us, so we're going to need all that. Uh, we're going to probably open up with you. Yeah, it's not the best. What about if we open up on you? We can probably get better. Uh, we'll go with the push. Which you don't get pushed. At I forget. The same time. ridiculous. Um, Try this. I should probably say we'll something push. meaningful to all our cabal vision viewers. We'll follow up. All I can think of is splat. Think can we get three dice? We can get three dice. We'll go three dice in the center. Go, big guy. Trample. Um, I guess we'll take a push. Lame. There's only one word to say. Okay, defender stumbles. Not a word. I'll take it. A 
sound. Rot. <laughs> They're fine. Uh, I think it's time to do a blitz. We get three dice here. And really, assist. two of them are attacker down. And we get a push, which doesn't do anything again. Well, maybe the goblin can do something now. We outnumber them massively. A snotling big Defender a down. There we go. Goblin. What a nice... Uh, they're fine, but whatever. Where's the nearest Jonathan doing a pretty good job there. I wanted the goblin to actually pick up the ball, but all things considered, I think we needed that. Right. Now, if we bring a goblin down here, pick the ball, yes, we can do this. So I'm actually going to pull our orc here back. I'm going to get this goblin, pick up the ball. There is a chance we'll fail here. Scoops up the ball. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to pull our other goblin back. To there. And then this goblin. To there. And we're basically going to form just a block and walk forward slowly. Not even that slowly, to be honest. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think Black Hawks are new in the new edition of Blood Bowl. One of specialist games have had a pretty rough ride. Like, they all got cancelled at one point because they weren't generating enough money, despite the fact that they were, for the cost of them, actually generating reasonable money. Um, and then... Yeah, they wanted to divert resources to the Lord of the Rings uh, board game that they were working on, which eventually, I think, got cancelled anyway. Right uh, we'll take... For the right push. Job. Okay, that's the end of their turn. That's fine. Uh, our goblin can actually start making pretty good headway. But now they're actually starting to bring back the specialist products because they were like, wait, specialist products are actually profitable? I know. Weird, right? Um, let's go for you. This is a nice many dice. Many dice. We're getting a lot of assists. Too stupid. Okay, well, we'll keep the result. This player should be we brain transplanted. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on Really? Oh, defend down. There we go. Boom! And they're fine. Okay, so, like, we'll want to move the goblin to here, and then we'll go want to start, like, putting a box around them. We'll probably go a little bit shorter so that everyone else can catch up. Uh, goblin first. Yeah, you're going to go? There we go. Wait, why are you not going? Have you broken? I think, you, I think you've broken, my good friend. Okay, let's try moving someone else. Okay, you have also broken. Connection app. Well, uh, that was fun. Either way, I guess, I guess this has been Blood Bowl 3, uh, pre-release. Still got a little bit of work, uh, but considering that it is a year out and it is a free open beta, like you don't have to pay to get in or anything. I think you just need to sign up. I'm not going to be too mad about that. It's still fun. It's still free. Uh, and it looks like the cosmetic, like, functionality that's going to be with it, allowing you to customize your characters, means that I'm going to be a bit more interested in actually having my players a little bit more invested. Because like, they used to be so similar, I'd be like, oh, they're kind of interchangeable. Now being able to actually customize them a bit is really something that I'm looking forward to. Um, it'll give them more personality. Anyway, I've been Adrillisium. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end that there. But until next time, if you'd like to see me play more, let me know down below. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, all of them are very, very useful for me to be able to figure out, hey, do you want me to play more Blood Bowl 3? And of course, likes and comments the YouTube algorithm loves. So it is very, very useful to have them to just kind of get a gist of, uh, hey, should I do more of this? And does YouTube want me to do more of this? You know, just saying. Uh, but until next time, I've been Adrillistium. If you do want to get the Blood Bowl 
pre-release beta, early access, whatever it's called. Uh, there'll probably be a link somewhere. Until next time, though, stay shiny. Remember, stomp them. Stomp them all.